What's going on? A pluses, nerd mixers everywhere. And as you know, when I come on to do a review, I have to scoop every single time. Nah, man, but you already know what it is. Um, we're here to bring you the review for the flash, the just the entire recap, all of the spoilers for the season finale, season seven, episode 18 of the flash, heart of the matter part two. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a bunch of different ways that I can go, uh, with this, although entertaining, having a big team moment with like big power ranger team up moment. It, it was, it was okay. I was, I was actually more interested in the Joe storyline than anything so i want to see how that would go and then finding out that old girl is actually a meta and that's how she survived the bomb thing because her meta power is she adapts to whatever meta power is around her so like she she's basically rogue without touching people uh so that was interesting so she was able to take dudes immortality then when they're on that bridge that they come to and all the god speeds are fighting and Joe was in the way of getting a car thrown out of my, I think, I believe it was. Uh, Kramer was able to use God's speed, speed in order to save him. So that was pretty cool. Um, this episode felt like it moved pretty quick. Um, I do like some of the developments that we got out of here. Like the return of Harrison Wells, Eobard, Eobard Thong. That, that was really shocking. But I understood the point of the matter of how they got that done. Um, I feel like the Allegra stuff was a little bit rushed, uh, how she's able to just go up and down, up and down and just let go of things and stuff. I, I really feel like Allegra, um, should have had like a four or five episode arc this season. May maybe get some of, rid of some of that BS force, uh, forces stuff you were doing and actually, um, get these characters like Kramer and Joe and Allegra some time. Cause you could, I feel like you could have did that whole four storyline, maybe two or three episodes. And they actually gave those character them, them B stories, as you would call them, um, some time to actually develop. Uh, Grant Gustin was excellent in this episode. Uh, Candace Patton was actually really good in this episode. Um, the Speed Force able to give it give her speed powers from the sliver of lightning that she had in her was weird but understandable because she was able to boost everybody's powers, So her power shouldn't have been boosted to the level of what the other speedsters were, but she should have just been a basic speedster. But she just did her little tornado arm things when it came to fighting. You know what I'm saying? The, the God speeds. We, we did get some weird fight scenes in here uh, with, with a team up like that, with a team up like this, like, like look at this lineup guys with a team up like this with OG Flash, Impulse, you got Iris Flash, you got The Flash, you got XS, and you have the Speed Force. And they were still having issues. Like, I, I don't know what the power scaling thing is when it comes to speedsters anymore. It's just, it's just wacky and weird to me. But I believe that the best part of uh, this episode was the fact that we got Harrison Wells Ebor Thorn back that the speed force went into this went into the speed force connected to the negative force using Iris as an anchor in order to reconstitute Harrison Wells Ebor Thorn Harrison Thorn and because Barry knows that Thorn won't let anybody else kill him but Barry but come to find out Barry's level is so much higher than Thorn's now through all the training through crisis through through creating a new speed force through through birthing the other forces that reverse flash couldn't even keep up like he went he went to attack Barry after they took down Godspeed and Barry was just looking at him like he was moving in slow motion nuts but appreciate it especially when everything that barry went through that uh thawne just doesn't come back and it's just automatically stronger than barry so thawne has thawne's able to run off get away and basically 
is going to have a power up on his own. You know what I'm saying? And able to try to take Barry down. That that that's going to be interesting, especially if last season ends up next season ends up being the last season. It's pretty crazy. Uh, the dude who played August Hart was a little bit over the top when it came to him getting his memories back. He he felt like a whiny kid to me. But when he didn't have his memory, those moments that he played where he was vulnerable and not knowing what was going to go on, those were some of the best moments in this episode. And I really appreciated that. So I, I leveled that out with the overacting when he had his, you know, it, it kind of levels each other out. And I, I see what they were trying to get across. The personalities are going to be drastically different. So that was pretty cool to me. Like I said, Chester able to talk Allegra to supercharge the friggin' weapon that his dad made in order to knock out all the guy's speeds. We saw that coming from a mile away, but I, I'm just glad that she's still using um, Indiana Jones Wells abilities and stuff like that, along with her own. So that's pretty cool. Um, the lightsaber fight between the flashes. I, I don't actually know how I feel about that or the flash and reverse flashes automatically knowing how to do that. But they did have a cool scene where like everybody had their own weapons that they were doing with with force lightning. So that was kind of cool. Like impulse through shurikens, you know, that uh excess does her whip thing. Uh Iris does her little tornado hand things. Uh Jay Garrick Flash took his helmet off, did like a Kung Lao thing where he put the lightning around the helmet and then and then threw the hat like Kung Lao and it bounced off everybody. The speed force just snapped. And, and put them all down and you know barry does what barry does so that that was actually cool but you just kind of wanted that fight scene to be more than what we actually got when it came to that point but i mean real cool uh the reverse flash ended up impelling godspeed with the bolt of speed force lightning saber sword i don't know lightsaber um and you know when he turns around to attack flash that's when he finds out that the flash has is faster than him has a significant power boost and was still being probably being powered up by the speed force as well so then he realizes that take us off you know what i'm saying live the fight another day they take august heart off to iron heights um and you know for for plot sake because august knows who barry is his real identity since he's organic now this has organic speed the speed force is able to take that memory of Barry's superhero identity away from him. So that's cool. And Kramer, you know, after having Joe, it, Joe's job is basically up. If he wants to go back, he can go back and be, you know what I'm saying, the 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 lead cop at the spot because Kramer leaves to go see what's going on with her meta human abilities and leaves that spot open for Joe. Uh, Iris and Barry renew their vows with Cisco and them there. You know, everybody's there to do it. it it's cool. You still got the storyline going on with uh, Frost and Chillbang. Uh, you get a cool little talk between her and Caitlin about it because Caitlin brought Frost as a plus one. Um, you get Impulse singing. You get Bart singing at the wedding. I mean, it, it was a cool downturn, but I feel like next season should just hit the ground running and never stop it, it should it shouldn't be a breath we can take when it comes to next season so we're gonna see what happens all in all overall for the season if i'm scaling it on one to ten um i'm gonna get a season of 6.5 uh passing grade but not you know what i'm saying not so close to be passing grade 6.5 um, there was a lot of dragging. I feel like there was a lot of people that overlooked one, one of the things that some of these other shows do great. Let's talk about like Batwoman is that they make sure that their side character storylines are prominent in what's going on and, and you, you, you gain an attachment. Um, I feel like the young lady playing Allegra could do great things on this show. I feel like the dude playing Chester, we all know what Joe West can do uh his, his baby mom i always forget her name cecile uh you have prominent characters that you could build incredible storylines around especially when you need to get a species of break and they just don't take advantage of that and i want to see in the last wh which i feel is going to be the last season on how they take that and what do they do to that so what did you guys think about this season finale episode of the flash and what did you think about the whole season overall 
Uh, let's talk about this in the comments. Let's get in depth and really see how y'all really felt, man. O open up. If y'all had issues with it, let me know. If y'all didn't, let me know if you think you liked it. Uh, this is open to everybody in the comments. I will pick, I will pick uh, the best comments and you will receive uh, some nerd mix, nerd armor. So, you know, stuff like I'm wearing or A plus hero report shirt. Um, I'll figure it out when you win. But uh, let, let's do that. We'll, we'll pick the we'll pick the best comment and um we'll get y'all a free shirt out all right so make sure you comment make sure you like and subscribe and i can't wait to see you guys next season i have no idea what i'm going to review uh all my shows are off maybe i'll pick up some anime um you guys won't see me on hero report for a while um i gotta work like every sunday in uh in august but I will be having character breakdowns and other news and stuff like that popping up for you guys. We still have anime assembled every Saturday and we have a special interview, a special interview dropping this week that you guys need to stay in tune for. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I interviewed a very, very dope, important person and we're dropping that exclusively on the A plus here report youtube so you got to make sure you subscribe because i think y'all guys i think you'll be really in tune with what is going on um i'm just gonna give you a hint he did something really special on eddie guerrero's uh birthday all right so i'm gonna let i'm gonna let adam tell you guys how you can get signed up for the patreon and until next time keep it a plus this has been a nerd mix indie out If you enjoy our content and want to be a part of helping our channel grow, become a patron supporter. We have affordable tiers to choose from that offer a variety of exclusive and early access content. From audio files for all of our shows for you to enjoy on the road, access to our Discord community, and plenty of reactions, reviews, character breakdowns, and more. Check us out at patreon.com slash A plus opinions. And as always, remember, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so anytime we drop a brand new video, you will be notified.